Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us now proceed to understand representative values. Suppose we say that Isha spends on an average 5 hours daily for her studies. From this statement, we can understand that Isha usually studies for 5 hours. On some days, she may study for less number of hours and on the other days, she may study longer. Similarly, if it is said that the average temperature of Delhi in month of June is 40 degrees Celsius, that would mean that very often the temperature of this time of the year is around 40 degrees Celsius in Delhi. But sometimes it may be less than 40 degrees Celsius and at other times it may be more than 40 degrees Celsius. Let us consider another example and see for ourselves. In first term, a student got 38 marks. And in second term, he got 40 marks in maths. Then, we can calculate the average marks in maths equal to 38 plus 40 whole divided by 2, which is same as 78 by 2, which is equal to 39. So, the average marks in maths are 39 but actually he got lesser marks in the first term than the average mark and more marks in the second term than the average marks. So we conclude that average lies between the highest and the lowest values of the given data and so we can say that average is a measure of central tendency of the data. Also, different types of data need different forms of representative values or the central values to describe it, about which we will study further. One of the representative values for the data is arithmetic mean. We can simply call it mean. It is the most common of the measures of the central tendency of the data. Mode and median are some other measures of central tendency of data. About these, we will study further in this chapter. Let us stick to arithmetic mean first. Arithmetic mean is nothing but the average. Suppose we have two vessels A and B. In one vessel we have 20 liters of milk and in the other vessel we have 60 liters of milk. Now suppose we are asked what is the amount of milk that each vessel would have if both the vessels had equal amount of milk. When we are asking this question, actually we are seeking the arithmetic mean or the average. That means we have to calculate total milk that is 20 plus 60 liters by the number of vessels that is 2. This would give us 80 by 2 which is equal to 40 liters. So arithmetic mean is actually the sum of all the observations divided by the number of observations. We define arithmetic mean that can be represented as AM equal to sum of all the observations 
डिवाइडेड बाय द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशंस